Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Amra and this is Amra's Beauty Blog. I'm a freelance makeup artist with a passion for all things beauty. If you're a subscriber, then a welcome return. If you like this video, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for weekly uploads. So today I am going to be talking about the other Dior backstage that I picked up, which was part of their new collection and it is their 010 Copper Essentials. I also have have one of the rosy glows in 015 in cherry and I also picked up the limited edition lip glow which is in the color 057 shimmer cinnamon so I thought that this would be a lovely precursor to the other videos I'm going to be doing on the holiday collection pieces that I've picked up I have gone crazy for Dior this year because I think Dior are smashing it in terms of launches and I have been loving what they've been bringing out so I I wanted to share all that with you. So. Let's start off with this Dior Backstage. If you saw in my previous video, I did the review on the Silver Essentials. So I thought, let's go with some warmer shades this time, which is right up my street in terms of this color story. This is the color story and I'm gonna show you this in a little bit more detail. I love the fact that there's a gold in here as well and I'm really gonna play with that gold because I wanna create a bit of a holiday look because I think we're moving into the holidays now and maybe that will be a lovely look to show you. So this is the color story and oh my God, isn't that just stunning? Wow, wow, wow. And what I love about this palette is that this is definitely a wearable everyday palette as well. And you probably saw from my previous video, the formula on this is exceptional. Let's take a look. We're gonna do some arm swatches and I'll show you all of these. So we'll start from the top here, going across. I'll show you that now so you can see what that looks like. Okay, so here are the arm swatches and you can see that these are all warm, toned and just beautiful this is going to look stunning on a darker skin tone i think you're going to love this it's beautiful absolutely stunning so this is going to be a little bit fiddly because this palette doesn't have a mirror so i'm gonna be using the camera as a mirror and try and do my best because i can't hold the palette and the mirror together. So this is the lightest shade, which is this one here. And I'm going to put that on as a base. Oh, that's really pretty. And it's worked really, really nicely. I noticed that two of the shades looked a tad bit similar when I swatched them. So I am going to just probably use one of those. These two felt quite similar, I think. Once I swatch these, possibly these two that looked quite similar. I'm gonna take the other shade here, which is again a matte shade. I'm gonna take this shade on top of the shade that I put on. I think I'm gonna take this middle shade here. Let's see how this looks. It's definitely a little bit more browner. And I'm going to take this shade here and then do that on the outer V. So I started off with this shade here, which is a matte shade called Beige. Then I went in with this satin shade, which is called Griege. And I thought that it would be nice to see what this shade looked like, which was in the middle. And that was a satin shade called Ginger Brown. And then I added on the end this shade, which is a matte and it's called Mahogany. I think this one is calling out to me. It's a little bit different and will work really well with the gold, I think. This is a satin shade and it's called Copper. I'm just gonna put that on my eyelid. So here we go. It's really pretty, wow. I'm gonna take the darker shade and I'm gonna just line it, which is that mahogany color. Just to remind you again, it was that one. So I'm gonna use that mahogany shade and just put that on the lower lash line.
that works really nicely really lovely and then this kind of gold shade is really appealing to me these two are definitely gorgeous shades but i'm really drawn to this gold i'm going to take my ring finger and this shade is a shimmer and they called it gold and i'm just going to put that on to pop in the center of my lid It really is a gorgeous gold shade. Now there isn't a highlighter shade, so in fact, I'm gonna use my pencil and just put a little bit of that gold on the inner corner. Just take a little bit on the brow bone. Just a little bit on my cupid's bow, on my nose. And then what I'm gonna do is just go away, add some mascara, some liner, and then we can look at the blush and the lip together. I love this. This is such a gorgeous, gorgeous palette. What I love about this is, this is gonna be a holiday look that I'm doing, but you could definitely play with these shades, which I haven't shown you on my eyes. It's more like an autumn look, whereas this is what I'm kind of doing for a holiday look. So I thought I'd just show you one more item that I have picked up that would definitely make this look really nice. This is one of their Dior brow stylers. It's like a holy grail for a lot of makeup artists. And I struggled to find this color and I was at the store for their event and they had the shade that I wanted. So this is 03 in brown. And I remember getting my makeup done at a counter and they didn't have it in stock. And I'm so glad that I managed to pick this up. I'm gonna show you this now just to fill in my eyebrows and then we'll do the other bit this is what it looks like it's got a tip here so you just twist it and then the color comes out and what I'm gonna do is just fill in my brows with you now well, that's nice it's really lovely the top of it has a little brush which I'll just show you now so I'm just gonna use this brush it's really light as well really good for travel so I'm just gonna brush my brows to the shape that I want it to be and I like my brows to be not too intense that's why I really like this color because it wasn't too dark I don't like my brows to look like I'm angry so you can go in again now that you've combed it and I'm just adding the color to my brows gosh i know why i like this pencil now i remember her using this and thinking i need to get one of these really really nice you can see that it's kind of made my brows look a little bit darker but not too dark this is the swatch for the brow styler isn't that a perfect shade So I'm gonna take there to your maximizer. This is a game changer because it really does make the eyelashes look like really strong. So I've got my maximizer and then I'm literally gonna prep my eyelashes with this maximizer. And it's like the first coat before you put on the mascara. Again, I've been told this is a game changer. And I've used this a few times now and I really, really like it. So I'm just going in And you could probably use more because you want it to kind of appear almost white. You know it's coated. So I'm just going to go in a little bit more, getting all that liquid out. Yeah, that's better. Definitely looks more whiter, my eyelashes. I mean, the product is all coming out. Now I'm going to put it on the lower lash as well because I like to accentuate my lower lashes if I can. But you can see I've coated like the top and the bottom. If in doubt, just go right into the roots, like that. So now all I can see is white, which is a really good sign. It means I've really coated my lashes. So I'm gonna take the Dior Show Iconic Over Curl Waterproof one. I bought this when I was on the way to Mallorca. I needed something that I could use in Mallorca so that it would help me whilst I was on holiday and I was swimming. So I've got this one here, which is waterproof, but let's put it on together now. 
Wowzers. I mean, can you see the difference already? Funny thing about mascara is people forget sometimes to put it on and it's one of those things that just really makes a difference and just opens your eyes. But like, that's made a huge difference to my eyes. It's just opened everything up. Wowzers. It's like I've got falsies on because I like my eyelashes to kind of look like they're really impactful. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just add some liner and I will be straight back. Okay, so I am back and I've added some liner. I've added my favourite eyeliner, which is Surat. I think I've talked about this before. It's just really good in terms of getting that sort of texture, colour, and it just really suits this vibe. I really, really love it. My other eyeliner that I am always going to for like a tight water line is my Hourglass and it's the Mechanical Gel Eyeliner in Obsidian. It is one of the best just to get in tight to my eyes. But yeah, this is the eye look so far. And now we're gonna go into the blush. Okay, so I'm so excited to show you. This is the new formula of their Rosy Glows. I originally had two of their rosy glows one was that one that was viral the pink one and then i had a coral one and then i wanted to pick up the rest of them so you would have seen in my other video that i looked at the mahogany one so i thought today i would show you the cherry one because it's a little bit warmer and i thought it would suit this particular look they reformulated these and you can see that this is what it looks like the color is just gorgeous it has a dior there it has the shade but it's not transparent, but there's a mirror, which I love. I wish that the backstage ones had a mirror. This is the Rosy Glow. This is the shade 015 Cherry. Yeah, the color's picking up now. This is Cherry. So, so pretty. Okay, so we're just gonna do a quick swatch for you on my hand. So that's what the shade, what the shade looks like. Lovely. Okay, so we have my mirror now, so I can see how it looks. And I'm also gonna use the camera on here too, but I'm gonna go in with my Wayne Goss brush and I'm just gonna put that color on my cheek. So here we go. This is what the color looks like. Oh, that's pretty. I'm just gonna build that up. I mean, can you see how pigmented that was just like two or three dabs? I mean, I don't think I even need to go in again. That's what I like about these rosy glows. Sometimes you don't have time to sit there and blend and blend and blend. You just want the color to come immediately through and that is just stunning. We're gonna go in with the other side now. It's a lovely shade. really nice shade I like this I'm just gonna go in a little bit closer to show you but you can see that you can build on this shade I mean I've used all the product already but it's a lovely color quite warm and not as vibrant as it looks I mean it does come off a little bit light like kind of like a more tomatoey red but as you blend it it kind of blends so well that it's not as strong as it looks in here, basically. I really like that. Okay, okay so we finally move on to the lip product. So this is the Lip Glow in 057 Shimmer Cinnamon. I like this one because there was a little bit more depth to it, which I thought would be nice for this look. This is what it comes in. Gorgeous pink packaging. As your addict packaging pull it out and like i said these are interchangeable with any of their limited edition cases it's such a great idea that you all do that so that you can jazz it up if you're on a night out and you want something a little bit more exciting in your purse so this is the shade so this is such a gorgeous shade if you look closely there are little particles of glitter watch 
So I'm just going to do a hand swatch for you now. You can see that it's more like a kind of balmy texture rather than like a strong pigmented lip. It's a beautiful shade. Okay, so let's try this lip on. Feels really lovely. So, so pretty. So as I mentioned, this is the Lip Glow and it's the Colour Reviver Balm. And this is their limited edition shade, which I also picked up. And I think with this look and the blush, it just looks gorgeous. Okay, so this is the finished look. I really, really hope you enjoyed this. I've really enjoyed filming this because I wanted to get more of like a holiday look out of this palette. I haven't picked up any of the holiday collection in terms of the eyeshadows yet from Dior. I've picked up some other things which I will be showing you in some other videos. I feel as though the backstage ones have really kind of caught my attention this year. I like the gold palette that's part of the new holiday collection and I'd love to try that in store just to see how it looks because I think that's a really gorgeous palette but for now I am loving this one that is the backstage one because I think it's quite versatile and what I love about the colours in the shades are that they're everyday shades definitely screams like autumn winter but at the same time you can wear this all the time so I think out of the silver essentials one and this one you get a lot of wear out of this one probably more because the colours are a lot more wearable. In terms of the blush, oh isn't that blush just gorgeous, I love this shade, this is 015 Cherry. I'm going to keep introducing the other shades as I film more videos because I've picked up all of them now but I am loving this and I love the fact that I didn't have to work too hard to get the colour to come through. And then the balm is gorgeous, this is limited edition as well as the backstage, this is limited edition as well I believe. I mean this shade is just so pretty, it's like a deep burgundy shade but a balm. Funnily enough I felt like the other one that I reviewed had more of a tingle to it. This one doesn't have as much of a tingle which is quite odd if at all I don't really feel anything. I don't know whether they're just slightly different formulas or one had more than the other. This is the final look and this collection is just stunning, really really gorgeous. I would definitely recommend picking up any of these. I don't think you'll be disappointed. I am really, really excited about all the holiday releases, so I'll be doing more holiday video soon and I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments please let me know. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.